शर्म नहीं आई तुमने इस तरह का हाथ किया है एक लड़की के साथ गोरिया लड़की है हमारे देश का पूरा नाम खराब किया है किसी भी महिला के ऊपर मोलिस्ट्रेशन हुआ उनका छेड़छाड़ हुआ तो बिल्कुल उनको छोड़ा नहीं जाएगा बिल्कुल उनके ऊपर कड़ी कार्रवाई की जाएगी Story we are tracking on Mirror now. They call Mumbai one of India's safest cities. Your car can go anywhere you want, you, any time you want to. Perhaps Korean influencer Hyo Gyeong Park, also known as Myochi, had heard the same thing that Mumbai is relatively safer for women travellers. But when she started vlogging from the streets at night, the exact opposite happened. We've seen what has happened. Uh, Miss Park is joining us on the broadcast. Thank you very much. Uh, for joining us it's been a tough day for you i know you've given many many uh, media interviews recalling what exactly has happened uh, can i ask you how you feel right now um i i feel actually a little bit very tired today i didn't really expect to all the people to care about and support this and i had to do the interview for whole day i went to the police station actually now i'm having my first meal मेमोरी Uh, can you can you ask me the question again i cannot hear you clearly can i ask you after what happened what are the memories you are taking back from india are there bitter ugly memories uh, or also is there a sense that there has been so much support for you as well i now i feel very appreciated and thankful and that one unfortunate incident didn't change the image of india at all In fact, I get so many support and the love from people that I don't even know. They said sorry for what happened, and there's a lot of people trying to help me and also give the message to public that this shouldn't happen again. So, I still, I still love India per se. I'm so glad to hear that you're someone who travels all across the world. Uh, Has something like this happened to you anywhere else in the world? Actually, throughout my travel, similar thing happened in other country. And at that time, I didn't have, I didn't know anyone who could help me. So, at that, I couldn't do anything in that country. But luckily, in India, a lot of India friends and people tried to help me out to solve this uh, problem and take an action. So I feel very grateful. could you just tell us i know you've given interviews through the day you have recounted your ordeal uh, but you know after 24 hours have you been able to understand why those two men behaved the way they did with you because we are seeing the pictures we are constantly seeing you say no no and yet they keep coming back um i don't really want to say or make it as a statement because they just did it because they were they are doing something wrong I'm not going to say because they are from India or because they have a, a certain belief. I don't I don't think that's true at all. People did something very uh, wrong sometimes. And I was keep telling on interview this is happening not because I'm in India. This could happen in the every everywhere in the world. And I still don't understand why did that. So you, you Yeah. Okay, so you're telling me that you know you're a woman traveler, you're someone who travels on your own across the world and things like this have happened to you before as well, but I'm so happy to hear that while in other countries there was no response to what happened with you, in India there has been a response. There has been so much outrage uh, that you know it has forced the system to work for you. It has forced the police to uh, come together without you complaining and put these two men behind bars. Uh Could you just tell me 
what time it was when this happened and were you disappointed that maybe there were some people around who could have helped you uh, because yeah, you know we can very uh, clearly see that you're being harassed and that didn't happen uh, it was around 11 50 p.m so it was pretty late, late at night but there was a couple of people standing on the street as well and unfortunately i didn't get any help besides the viewer who are watching my stream and understand entire situation but i also don't blame pe other people who tried who didn't help me because they couldn't under they could it's really hard to help stranger when you are not understanding the situation so i don't want to put the blame on people who didn't help me on the street What were these men trying to tell you? Because in the video, we hear you saying no, no. But what were they trying to tell you? When did it come to a point when this man actually holds your hand and starts dragging you and then almost lunges forward to kiss you? Yes, uh, he tried to kiss me two times. And I, he was keep telling me that he will drive me to my hotel, to my room, where's my hotel, and asking my uh, phone number. That's why I was keep telling him that no very strongly. And when people say no to other people, they should understand that as a no. But clearly he didn't. Clearly he didn't. And uh, which is why both of them are now, uh, you know, behind bars. Are you satisfied with uh, with how this has ended? We know the the experience itself must have been scary and unpleasant, though you've gone through the same thing in other countries. But are you satisfied with the way things have ended now? Um, well, I cannot say I'm satisfied or I'm not satisfied, but I am very surprised at how the police and people started to... Uh, try to take as an action very quickly and i want to believe that they would have done the same thing even if i was not a foreigner and even this even if this video didn't got viral as well i strongly believe they would have done the same thing if this same thing happened to indian women or a man or in anywhere else <clears throat> Uh, do you think you were, you know, you were targeted or singled out because uh, you look different, because you are a foreigner, and they figured that out? Uh, can you can you ask me the question again? Yes. Uh, what I'm trying to ask you is that is it your sense that you were singled out, picked up, chased, identified by these two men uh, because you looked like a foreigner, that they came to you because they thought that uh, you would probably not understand the language, not know the system and get away with what they're doing? Uh, that's, uh, that's a very tricky question and I... Don't I don't want to answer that question. Yeah. I don't want to say that they okay. had a... Okay, you know, you had a very... You know, I let it go. I, if you're not com are comfortable answering that question, uh, I perfectly accept that. You've had a very long day. You've had a tiring day. Again, uh, apologies on behalf of all of India. Uh, this is not our culture. What happened to you was unfortunate. What happened with you happens to Indian women across this country. The statistics we have are, uh, are scary. Uh, but I'm happy that you are going away from this country, Ms. Park, uh, saying that you still love India. So that's saying, th saying something. We leave it there. Thank you very much. Uh, have a good and pleasant stay, whatever is left of it. Thank you so much.